Hello, and thanks for checking out ChartGuys.com. We're proud to be one of the most successful technical analysis communities online, teaching you the skills to become a more confident, effective, and informed trader. Join our community of hundreds of analysts worldwide working together to learn the charts, generate profit, and achieve financial independence. Sign up for a one-week free trial, no credit card required, for access to daily live chart analysis and market coverage, a thriving chat community, along with dozens of hours of exclusive educational materials. We look forward to seeing you. Let's check out some charts. Tech sector, XLK, Apple, Facebook. So the bulls buying the dip again. These lower wicks are telling us that we're, the bulls aren't giving up on this. We are still trying to cling on to support here. We did have a bearish MACD cross now, but we have had that before on previous brief consolidations before seeing continuation. One thing I'm watching is a bearish TCG cross. If this follows through the four period exponential over the eight period to the downside, and we almost had it cross here and it did briefly cross here and then crossed right back. So again, have to take it with a grain of salt but we are seeing their initial signals that we're getting a little toppy and we're looking for normal, healthy consolidation. We have a new higher low now. It was 62.86. Now it's 62.99. If we break that level, the daily middle Bollinger Band will be in play in the mid $60, mixed, mid $62 range. And we will be looking for normal, healthy consolidation. This bearish reversal doji was the first heads up saying, okay, this is not the strong close that we've been seeing all of the last six weeks. We might be in for normal, healthy consolidation. So we're getting some initial signs of that. Nothing following through at this point. Very hard to go bearish in this market, but it is easier to protect bullish positions than it is to go bearish. So, you know, lightening up a little bit, maybe taking some off and watching to see if we get a break of this higher low pattern with the low of today, a key support level. Apple on the daily time frame clearly leading the way today to the downside for the tech sector. The close down at the low of the day, increased bear volume, loss of the exponential moving averages for the first time in three weeks since earnings took place and since we started having the run up into earnings. So we are seeing definite consolidation and profit taking. Support is 170.51 and then there's a gap to fill at 167.90. So the bears are in full control of the short term action with lower highs and lower lows on the daily the last couple days in a row. The weekly time frame is a bearish reversal candlestick now after three weeks of upside. We could pull all the way back to 160 and be just fine for the bulls. So none of these scenarios have anything to do with the longer term pattern, which is still going to be bullish for a long time. But it has to do with the shorter term daily charts because they are definitely showing weakness. Facebook is still in its very tight equilibrium pattern. All-time high, low of consolidation, lower high, higher low, trading straight across right now. So I'm looking at key support of 177.09. We held it by $0.09 cents today. The middle Bollinger Band is right there. So if we do see a bear break, we will likely lose this daily middle Bollinger Band as support. And I'm looking at resistance. We've seen lower highs now five days in a row. So lower high, 178.97 has to break for the bulls in order to prevent from a bear break of this tightening pattern. We've already got the bear Mac decross. The weekly time frame is very healthy consolidation at this point, almost a little bull flag. So we would have to lose exponential support. Look at this exponential support. All of 2017 on the weekly time frame has been holding. At this point, we would have to drop down below the 175 mark in order to see that loss. So that would require a pretty decent amount of bearish activity for the rest of the week in order to lose these exponential supports on the weekly. So we're not really looking at that at this point. It's just the equilibrium pattern that is close to a bear break, but not quite there yet. The bulls are still holding on, just like much of the sector. We'll see if Apple continues to drag things down tomorrow. Thanks for tuning in. We'll see you tomorrow.